The recipe I would like to share today is yuzu brioche loaf. Originally, I wanted to buy brioche for making French toast last week, but I couldn't find any, so I decided to make it myself. Brioche is a very rich and heavy bread made with a large proportion of egg, milk, and butter. In order to match with this aromatic and buttery bread, I add a little bit of yuzu pills to provide some fresh aroma at the background. To make this bread, our dough needs to be prepared the night before and chilled. First, we need one whole egg and one egg yolk. The egg needs to be large, which weighs at least 55 grams, and the egg yolk weighs no less than 20 grams. And then add the milk into the egg, and their total weight is 160 grams. Mix bread flour, sugar with the egg and milk to form a dough. Wrap it with clean film and chill overnight. This process allows the flour to fully absorb the moisture and form gluten by itself. At the same time, by chilling the dough which avoids it from getting too hot during the long kneading process. In the next morning, mix in the salt, butter, instant yeast and yuzu pills. Cut the dough into pieces, which makes it easier to incorporate with other ingredients. First, add the salt and then the butter. Since the weather in Hong Kong is quite hot, I didn't soften the butter by bringing it back to room temperature. I just cut it into thin slices to make it easier to incorporate into the dough. Wait until the butter is fully incorporated into the dough before adding the instant yeast. The dough will become very soft and wet. Don't be tempted to add more flour at this point. Just keep kneading and scraping down the dough on the edge of the mixing bowl. Then, add the instant yeast. Keep scraping and kneading until the dough becomes very smooth, elastic and stretchy. The entire kneading process may last for 20 minutes from the time of adding the yeast. How can we judge the dough is ready? When the dough becomes very elastic, it will stick onto the little pieces of dough on the wall of the mixing bowl and shrink it back to the main dough. This indicates the gluten is fully developed and the dough is ready for the next step. Lower the speed and mix in the yuzu pills. Yuzu is a citrus fruit from Japan. If you can't find it, of course you can use orange pills instead. Taking out the dough and your mixing bowl should be clean like that. Then, tighten the dough by slapping and folding it a couple of times and use a scraper to help to round the dough. Brush another bowl with some butter, place the dough inside and cover with clean film. Let it ferment for one hour.
Taking out the dough after the first fermentation, gently press out the large air bubble and make it round again. After that, put the dough in the refrigerator one more time. Let it ferment at low temperature for at least two and a half hours. It will avoid the butter from melting, and the long fermentation process will allow the flour to fully absorb the butter. And a cool, firm dough will make the final shaping much easier. Equally divide the dough into three pieces, about 170 gram each. Make it round and let it rest for 10 minutes. Roll out the dough, press and stretch out one edge close to you, roll up the dough and pinch the edge to seal. Rest for another 10 minutes. Repeat the process of rolling out and roll up the dough. Place the dough in the mold with the seal edge facing down, cover with a damp cloth and let it proof for about 2.5 hours. For normal bread making, we usually use higher temperature for final proofing, usually over 30 degrees Celsius. However, due to the high butter content of this dough, I prefer doing the final proofing at room temperature to avoid the butter from melting. And as the dough is chilled before, Low temperatures slow down the proofing process, so more time should be given for bringing the dough back to room temperature. Proof until the dough rises to 80% of the mold. Preheat the oven at 190 degrees Celsius. Turn off the fan, place a baking tray at the lower bottom, and place another tray on the top to avoid the bread from browning too quickly and burn. You can brush the top of the dough with some egg wash to create that glossy effect after baking. I personally don't like that glossy style, so I just skip it and put it in the oven as it is and bake it for 30 minutes. My entire house smells so buttery. Of course you can enjoy it just like that, or toast it and spread with even more butter. The bread is so rich and tasty with all this egg, milk and butter and the yuzu peel will cut off the greasiness and leave you a citrus and refreshing aftertaste. However, don't forget, originally I want to buy brioche for making french toast. I think it never goes wrong by adding more sugar and butter.
It's time for me to dig in. I hope you like this video. Thanks for watching. Bye.